We learned a lot today about the investigation into Tony Robinson's death. He was killed March 6th by Officer Matt Kenny, who will not be charged in the case. NBC 15 Zach Nugent joins us to break down what we've learned about how that night unfolded. Zach? John Aline, this afternoon we not only heard from the DA, but we received dozens of documents, photos, and videos from the Department of Justice. From the time officers arrived on scene to the time of the shooting, it all happened in less than two minutes. I begin with the known undisputed facts. Leading to the announcement that charges will not be filed against Officer Matt Kinney, the Dane County DA described the evidence he's been pouring over, including what led to officers being dispatched. There were three 911 calls within five minutes prior to Officer Kinney's arrival on the scene. One of them came from a friend of Tony's who lived at the Willie Street apartment. It was reported Tony was tweaking, chasing everybody, and is really outrageous right now. The caller and his girlfriend are scared. We also got a better idea of what the DA used to reach his decision as the Department of Justice released a summary of its investigation. This included numerous pictures, surveillance footage, and dash cam video. From the video, it does not appear as if Officer Kinney had to open the door. Video released by the DOJ shows that the whole scenario from Kinney entering the house to the actual shooting happened in seconds. Officer Kinney is inside the residence for approximately 20 seconds before he reappears exiting the residence in a backwards motion appearing to almost lose his balance. At this time he is seen firing one shot while outside the residence. Six more followed, all in about three seconds. Now the Department of Justice has made its case file public and it is available to view online. We have a link to those documents on our website. Just go to NBC15.com and click on news links.